everyone. Welcome to the Mama Elephant May release. This is Arena. This is an exciting release because my friend and fellow design team member Kiwe has collaborated with Mama Elephant on two of the products. First up is the Slim Scenescape Builder. Usually I start off with the stamps, but I wanted to start off with this one. This is a super fun creative cut set and it looks super intimidating, but it's really super easy to put together. This is one of the die sets that Kiwi has collaborated with Mama Elephant on. Um, she is Kiwi Concepts on Instagram. Next up is Flower Shower, and this is become one of my most favorite Mama Elephant sets. I love this one. I love the critters. I love the flowers, and I like them put together. My favorite one is the bunny holding the daffodil flower. It is so super cute. Love it. Also comes with some really nice sentiments to go with the stamps. Here is a look at the coordinating dies for flower shower. We're going to look at the dies first. This is the slim scene scape <laughs> builder and it creates a box that is a slim card sizing and it does fit into a number 10 envelope. I made a quick mock-up of the finished box that is slim card size and I'll be showing you the pieces and where they go in relation to the box. So first up we're going to take a look at the front and that's what that piece looks like. Um, you'll notice that there are tabs and I always like to pre-score them and fold them to put the box together easier. Next you'll have the side pieces and this piece here creates a angle and then there's also little insert pieces that you can create another layer. Another option for the side piece is the straight piece. It doesn't slope up and that also has another piece that you can layer on top of it. Next we have the fun little hills that go inside of the box and typically you would put your images on them and decorate it. So I've cut out three of them. Also for the front, there's this rectangle piece that you can layer on top. Also a banner that you can layer on top as well. You can also stamp a sentiment on that. You don't have to use all the pieces, they're just there if you want to use them. This larger back piece is here and that'll be attached using the tabs on the side pieces. And there's also a little insert piece that you can put as well. For the back, if you'd like to write a message, you can cut out the small insert piece and write on it and attach it to the back um, with adhesive. The die set also comes with smaller pieces, like little clouds. There's three different size clouds. I love these. And also some stars. And you can use all these pieces to decorate your scene. I'll be using flower shower to decorate the slim Scenescape Builder box and I'm using Copic markers. I'll put the colors I used down below in the description box. I'm trying to repurpose some of the colors so I don't have to use too many markers. So the chick color is in YRs. So I'm going to use that to color in one of the flowers. Just some simple coloring as usual. I wanted to keep it simple since there's going to be a lot going on with the box. I'm just making sure that the inner sides of each petal is darker than the end. Um, and I'm going to try to keep that consistent with all of them. And I will be just repurposing the colors again. So I'm using that pink on the bunny on a different image for that flower. For the flowers, I like to flick and I also like to leave a little bit of white at the ends just so it looks like I blend it a little bit and that there's a highlight on the ends of the flowers. Some of my favorite Mama Elephant images are the ones that Angela draws. She's one of the owners. And I love these iconic Mama Elephant characters. I also love that they also appear in other stamp sets and you can definitely mix and match the sets that you already have, like the agendas. 
I do believe there's agenda for each of these. There's a chick, dog, cat, and bunny agenda that you can mix up with these bigger guys. I loved coloring these little guys. I believe I'm using a blue-green color for the leaves and the stems and different parts of the flowers. I didn't want to use like a true green color because it didn't match the paper that I was using for the little hills, so I wanted to match that. Also, I haven't found a green that I totally love either, <laughs> so I just love using blue-green for that. So I'll just do some last minute touches and color in that adorable turtle, which I did color in that blue green color. I just wanted to keep all of the colors consistent. And here are the images cut out, super cute. I'm going to select a sentiment from the stamp set and stamp it on that banner piece. This banner piece is sized to also fit an A2 size card if you'd like to use it on your other projects. So I'm just using Versafine Onyx Black Ink and this particular sentiment is Flowers Bloom After the Rain Falls. So it's a great little sentiment for a encouragement card. I'm going to take all the pieces that I die cut and reinforce the score lines on them and then also fold them just so it's easier to put together the box. I think this step is really important so you can make sure everything is straight and you know exactly where all uh, the folds are. We're going to start constructing the box. So here I have the front piece two side pieces and I've cut out three hills. I want three hills on my project. Now these are all facing right side up. So this is what you would be looking at at the front of the box. So nice side up and then I'm going to put score tape on each of the tabs. We'll start with the construction of the box from the back going forward. So I've cut out that larger rectangular piece. The top of the rectangular piece is rounded. So you'll see there's rounded corners, that should be the top. And when you adhere the two side pieces, you'll wanna make sure that that bottom um, part of the box is nice and straight. So here are the hills. I want three of them and three of them works out perfectly because you can ear adhere them a quarter inch apart and I'm kind of lining it up with my grid and I'm taking out all the release paper and then I'm adhering it to that side piece and you can see I'm aligning that top tab with the top of the side piece and you can see how when you go each quarter inch on my grid mat, that it works out perfectly. The last item that you should adhere is the front of the box, which is that skinny rectangular die cut. So before I adhere it, I wanna put my layers, and you don't have to use these layers. I wanted to use them because I wanted to use as many pieces as possible. So we have that rectangular piece. I've cut it out in a lighter pink, and I'm also adhering the banner that we stamped our sentiment on, on top of that layer. And then I will take that whole layer and attach it to the front tab piece. So after that is adhered, we'll adhere it to the side piece and it should be flush um, with the end of the side piece and you can see that it's the same size so it all should make sense and fit like a puzzle. So you can see the end of that angled side piece is the exact same size as the front rectangular piece. So you can see that I have the layers flat and in front of it we have the score tape and you can see we're going to eventually fold down the side piece and everything should come together. Before I do that, I wanted to add some more layers. So I'll be adding 
the two layers to the side pieces and they're just a tiny bit smaller than the side piece so it gives a nice border and it also reinforces your box. So we're going to do the other side and I'm adhering everything using score tape. So I want a little area where I can write a message. So you'll see that this smaller rectangular piece also has the rounded corner on top and a straight bottom. So I'll ad be adhering it to the back of the box. This is the area where you can write a message to the recipient. I would normally probably write on it first and then adhere it in case I made a mistake. <laughs> so this is the front view of the box. You can also cut out another one of the smaller rectangular pieces and use that to layer on that back piece. Um, also, if you wanted to decorate it, I like the look of the layers and how there's like a border around it. So I wanted to use this piece as well on the front. Also, it gives additional stability to the box. Okay, now we're ready to remove the release paper on these tabs. And when you take the right side flap and press it down to meet the adhesive, make sure you line up the hills as you did with the left side. So you wanna make sure that the end of that piece is flush to the top of the angle. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just doing a little test run and just going flap by flap to make sure that it is lined up exactly how the left side was lined up. And the last flap, it should meet um, exactly to where um, it fits together like a puzzle. And so if you do it that way, everything should be straight and everything should be able to fold down to put in an envelope perfectly. We did it. So now the fun part, we're going to decorate it. I didn't want to decorate it while it was uh, not put together yet because I just didn't know where the images would land. So I like decorating it when it's in this state, when everything, when the box is complete. So then now we're just going to put the images on. I'm just using some wet glue um, and I'm putting in the flower shower images and I'm just making sure that each of the hill layers has something on it, um, just so it looks like there's a lot of dimension and a lot of layers. And I used one of each image there. And then also, since it was a shower, I wanted to put a lot of clouds. So I'm taking some acetate and I'm making the clouds floating. So at the end of the acetate, I have the cloud. And then I'm gonna adhere it to the back of the hill. And I always cut the acetate longer than I need. And then I will cut it to size after I adhere everything. It just makes it easier and it's like less to measure. So I'm just looking at areas where I think it's blank and then I'll add another image. And I just wanted to add a bunch of clouds on the acetate so, um, it looks like it's raining <laughs> all over the place. So um, I love this uh, acetate um, idea. And then I'm taking some of the clouds and I'm adhering them directly to the back of the box. I'm also going to add the rest of my images. I have a couple of puddles and also that cute little turtle. I wanted the turtle to be underneath one of the flower umbrellas. So that's where I put him. And we are almost done here. I wanted to use some of the stars because I love using stars on my projects. So I'm putting them all over the place and I'm also putting them in some of the acetate as well. 
And here's a look at the completed project. Thank you, QA, for designing such an awesome box. It was super easy to put together. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Mama Elephant will be selecting a winner from May's release videos the 11th through the 14th to win a stamp set. I will see you all again tomorrow with another collaboration from Kiwi. It is a add-on to this box and it is super awesome. I loved it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe and happy crafting. Bye guys.